Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release, which is the build 22000.613. This is the B release for the month of April. So as you're used to in this video, we're going to talk about a few things that are new and what you can find or what you can expect from this build. But what you need to keep in mind is that every month when the B release is released on the second Tuesday of the month, a lot of features that were previously presented in the C release of the previous month will be found in this build or in this update. Before talking about anything, please don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel if you enjoy videos that I do about with new Windows 11 updates. Some improvements that are particular to this build are some improvements regarding the security of some internal OS functionalities. And as always in the B releases, we get a lot of security improvements. So that's why I strongly recommend you install these updates because we always need that stability and further security in our operating system. If we are talking about things that are new, first of all, we have updates regarding the notifications, as I've said in the previous build. So now up to four notifications might appear simultaneously, three high priority and one normal priority notification in Windows 11. Also some fixes regarding OneDrive that was causing files to lose focus after you rename them and press the enter key, which is a small little bug, and also return the corresponding settings page when searching for the keyword widgets, which will highlight basically the ability to turn on or turn off the widgets. And again, in these stability updates, we have a whole bunch of fixes regarding certain processes in Windows 11 that were causing either bugs or crashes. So for example, we have fixes related to system settings.exe, search indexer.exe, and also some DLL files that were causing memory leaks. I think we still have some memory leaks issues in Windows 11, but slowly and shortly, hopefully Microsoft is fixing all of them. And by the start of Windows 11 22H2, we will have a stable operating system with no memory leaks. Also, fixes were applied to certain DLL files that you can find in System32. Of course, you shouldn't play around with System32, but it's good to know that Microsoft is fixing a whole bunch of small little bugs that can affect the performance overall. And also in this update, of course, as always, we have a servicing stack update. Basically, the servicing stack is the component that installs Windows updates. So the these updates ensure that you have a robust and reliable service and stack so that your devices can receive and install Windows or Microsoft updates. Other quick fixes regarding the user account control. There is a fix for a problem that was causing the user account control to not pop up in Windows 11. I've encountered this myself, but now I'm glad that this is fixed. Basically, these are the most important things that were updated in this build. You can check out the article down below in the description for the full list of fixes and additions in this build, but I strongly recommend you install this update because it also contains all the features and improvements from the previous C release of the previous month and also more security improvements for the month of April. As I've said, if you enjoy these videos and you want me to continue making these, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads. Always Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.